Okay, first question is magnetic field is a scalar quantity. Tell whether it is true or false. Magnetic field B, capital B. So we have done its various expressions. B is equal to mu naught n i. B is equal to mu naught i over two r. B is equal to mu naught i over two pi r. So we are talking about that B magnetic field. Is it a scalar quantity or a vector quantity? Raise hand. Who knows the answer? Raise hand. Magnetic field is a scalar or a vector? Yes, Rishit. Ma'am, false. A vector. Yes, magnetic field is a vector quantity. So this is false. Magnetic field lines are curves, closed loops, or lines. Magnetic field lines are what? Yes, uh, Shantanu. Closed loops. Ah, uh, magnetic lines are closed loops. We have done all the properties, right? No two field lines are found to cross each other. Is it true or false? Just lean. Ma'am, it is true. It is true. Never two magnetic lines can intersect each other. What is the reason? Ma'am, because it will give two directions of magnetic field. Yes, because two tangents can be drawn at the point of intersection that give two directions of. Magnetic field intensity at a point which is impossible. Fourth, magnetic field produced around a straight conductor due to current in it is given by which rule? Straight conductor carrying current. Which rule gives the magnetic field due to it? Rishit. Ma'am, right hand thumb rule. Ha, right hand thumb rule. It's Maxwell's. right hand thumb rule so we have a current carrying conductor and the curling of the fingers gives the direction of magnetic line right okay after that uh, fifth question direction of magnetic field produced by current carrying loop can be found by using which rule now we have a circular loop current carrying circular loop which rule gives the direction of magnetic field produced by Which rule gives the direction of magnetic field produced by it? This is Maxwell's corkscrew rule. Maxwell's right hand thumb rule is also sometimes called Maxwell's corkscrew rule. उसी का ही name है ये, ठीक है? क्योंकि if you will surf on the net, then uh, right hand thumb rule they also call it screw rule, and it was given by Maxwell. Which of the following correctly describes the magnetic field near a long straight wire? Field consists of straight lines perpendicular to the wire, parallel to the wire, radial lines originating from the wire, or field consists of concentric circles centered on the wire. Yes, who else? Rishit is not going to answer all the questions. What about others? Yes, other students, you also raise hand. This is NCERT question. This is our exercise question. We have already discussed in the class, so you must be knowing this. Yes, student. Okay, Rishit. Ma'am, the field consists of concentric circles centered on the wire. It is last option. Field consists of concentric circles centered on the wire. So go on drawing the pattern also side by side in your copy so that you have practice of this. Okay, draw the pattern also side by side. Fine. So it will be concentric circles, and if the thumb is upward, current is upward, then the current is uh, magnetic field lines are anti-clockwise. It if it is downward, then it is clockwise. Question number seven: A freely suspended bar magnet always rests in north-south direction. Is it true or false? Harshit. Ma'am, true. Yes, it is true. Why? Why it rests in north-south direction? What is the reason? Why doesn't it revolve like an ordinary pen? What's the reason? Yes, Gursimar, can you tell the reason? Ma'am, because Earth is also a magnet, mm -hmm. and unlike poles, attract each other. 
so it lies in north south direction so it lies in north south direction under the attraction of earth's magnetic field earth's magnetic field is acting on it so that keeps it aligned in a particular direction next eighth question refer to the diagram a wire carries a current creating a magnetic field around itself as shown current in the wire is directed to the right to the left equal to magnetic field in the same direction as the magnetic field so there is a wire carrying current and the magnetic field is around it what is the direction of current so you have to apply maxwell's right hand thumb rule again but now in the opposite direction here field is given you have to guess the direction of current otherwise usually we have current given and we guess the direction of magnetic line so yes gurseemar mam directed to left yes it is directed towards left because the sense of curling of the fingers is this way okay yes, it is anti clockwise but we have to keep it horizontal like this thumb so thumb should be directed in the left direction yes rishit any other answer मैम मैंने पूछना था कुछ हाँ जी बोलो मैम एक जो ऊपर मैम क्वेश्चन में एक लॉक रूल आया था मैम उसका क्या यूज होता है उसमें बस यही होता है कि अगर हम एक स्क्रू को मूव करे ऐसे रिवॉल्व करें ना तो वो भी जिस डायरेक्शन में घूम रहा है वो भी मैग्नेटिक लाइन की डायरेक्शन ही देता है ठीक है ओके मैम तो आपको स्क्रू एक डायरेक्शन में इंक्रीज होता हुआ लगता है वो करंट की डायरेक्शन है और जो पैटर्न वो बनता है वो कंसेंट्रिक सर्कल्स का बनता है सो समाइम्स इन प्लेस ऑफ राइट हैंड थम रूल दिस फॉर्क रूल इज स्क्रू रूल इज ऑल्सो यूज नाइन्थ क्वेश्चन रेफर द डायग्राम द राइट फेस ऑफ द लूप एक्स एज नॉर्थ पोल एंड लेफ्ट साइड ऑफ द लूप एक्स एज साउथ पोल यू हैव टू मैंशन वेदर इट इज राइट और रॉन्ग यस गुर सिमर ही हैंड रेज कर रहा है वॉट अबाउट अदर्स there are four five students always anyone else who knows the answer yes if anybody else knows the answer yes jasleen ma'am true uh first of all if we see the front face of the uh, current loop then the current is flowing in the anti clockwise direction so anti clockwise means this pole the upper pole or the right side of the pole anti clockwise means it is behaving like north pole yes and the other side not behaving like south pole so yes that is true kisko samajh mein nahi aaya ye question can ask ye already hum class mein discuss kar chuke hain ki if we are having a circular loop carrying current so if to me the current appears to flow in the anti clockwise direction to you it must be appearing in the opposite clockwise direction anti clockwise means north pole and clockwise means south pole so to me this face of the current loop will behave like north pole and to you it will behave like south pole so we show we prove that a current loop behaves like a magnet current loop behaves like a magnetic dipole theek hai usko dipole bhi keh dete di means two poles so a bar magnet always has two poles तो उसको हम मैग्नेटिक डाइपोल भी बोल देते हैं यस गुर सिमर मैम वो आंसर देना था अगले का इसलिए रेज किया था ओके ओके रेफर द डायग्राम एट द सेंटर ऑफ व्हिच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग फोर सर्कुलर रिंग मैग्नेटिक फील्ड इज स्ट्रांगेस्ट फॉर इक्वल मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ करंट बट डायग्राम इज नॉट सो क्लियर हां अब थोड़ा सा बड़ा हो गया यस मैम बताऊं हां मे आई yes loop to why ma'am because uh, ma'am jitna chota hoga utni zyada magnetism zyada hogi but i guess uh, b and d ka size same lag raha hai usme kuch current bhi likha hua hai b mein i current likha hua hai aur d mein 2i current likha hua hai right so we, can, so we will use the formula b is equal to mu not i over 2r so inversely proportional to radius yes you are right if the radius is less magnetic field must be stronger so answer b ya d mein se ek hai but jisme se zyada current flow kar raha hai uske directly proportional hai b b is mu not i over 2r so isliye aapka answer wo hoga jisme 2i current flow kar raha hai so 2i current is flowing in d part last part so aapka answer hai d ring 
if any uh, one has doubt in this question you can ask so d part is clear let me draw it on the board then it will be clear to you so there are four rings small big big small a b c d and its radius is r means 2r its radius is 2r radius is r and uh, current flowing through it is 2i through it i through it i and through it 2i so now our answer would be d part because d is equal to mu not i over 2r so jiska radius smallest hai aur jiska current highest hai तो स्मॉलेस्ट इसका रेडियस है करंट इसमें से मैक्सिमम जा रहा है टू आई तो डी पार्ट आपका आंसर होगा सो इन डी द मैग्नेटिक फील्ड एट द सेंटर वुड बी मैक्सिमम सो इफ इट इज नॉट क्लियर टू एनी वन यू कैन आस्क इज दैट ओके स्टूडेंट्स ऑल राइट सो नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन लेट सी नेक्स्ट वन यस uh we have one more case yes magnetic field inside a long straight solenoid carrying current is what zero decreases as we move towards the end increases as we move towards its end same at all the points yes which option is correct out of these you all should uh, participate in this quiz Yes, students. All of you participate in the quiz and raise hand. I know uh, you know the answers. Yes, Rishit. Ma'am, increases as we move towards its end. How can you say that? Ma'am, uh, because uh, the magnetic field lines are closer at the ends. Mm. but they are asking inside the solenoid so i am going to draw the patterns all of you draw in your copy also so when we draw the pattern we find that inside inside the lines are straight parallel and equispaced inside the magnetic lines are parallel and equispaced theek okay? hai so they direct from north to south inside they all are directing in the same direction so inside magnetic field is same at all the points so our answer is d part they are just talking about the inside of solenoid so inside there are parallel and equal space lines so indicating uniform magnetic field inside so that's why the strength of magnetic field is same at all the points is that clear let's see the next one second which of the following property of proton can change while it moves freely in a magnetic field yes what do you say which property of proton will change when it moves freely in a magnetic field mass speed velocity and momentum or momentum it is a current it is a charged particle so when it moves in a magnetic field it will experience some magnetic force because of that magnetic force its speed will change and when the speed changes momentum also changes it can't be constant because the speed is changing so answer is velocity and momentum both velocity and momentum both next is question number 3 a negatively charged particle projected towards west is deflected towards north by a magnetic field the direction of magnetic field is towards south towards east downward or upward we have to tell so negatively charged particle which is moving towards west is deflected towards north by a magnetic field 
we have to tell the direction of energy field first thing is confirm that uh, uh, we will not predict the answer in east west north south direction because these two directions are already covered the particle is moving towards west and deflected towards north so north south wali line bhi ho gayi hai east west wali line bhi ho gayi hai that means your answer will be either outwards or inwards theek hai so fleming's left hand rule apply that and tell me what will be the direction of force if electron is going towards west current will be flowing towards east theek hai to aapki jo middle finger hai wo east ki taraf honi chahiye it is experiencing force towards north to thumb upar hona chahiye ab dekhiye ki aapki four finger kahan pe hai where is your four finger inwards theek hai downwards so your answer is inwards or downwards any doubt in this question कोई डाउट है इसमें थंब नॉर्थ की तरफ ठीक है और मैग्नेट जो मिडल फिंगर है वो कहा होनी चाहिए आपकी ईस्ट की तरफ सो यू कैन सी द डायरेक्शन ऑफ फोर फिंगर दैट इज इनवर्ड और डाउनवर्ड इनवर्ड और डाउनवर्ड अप्लाई द रूल योर सेल्फ इफ एनी डाउट इज योर स्टूडेंट यू कैन आस्क आस्क इफ यू हैव एनी डाउट it's okay let's see next question then fleming's left hand rule gives the direction of magnetic field current induced current or motion or force yes fleming's left hand rule gives the direction of what very easy all the hands must be raised now Yes, all the hands must be raised. Hurry up, come on. What happened? Yes, students, किसी को नहीं आ रहा? This is so simple. Okay, I ask myself, Mansha, आप बताओ. Mansha, would you like to tell the answer? Fleming's left hand rule gives the direction of what? Mansha. हर्षिता आप बोलो ध्रुव मेहता मैम हाँ बोलो मैम मोशन मोशन फोर्स मोशन यस मोशन फोर्स फ्लेमिंग राइट हैंड रूल गिव्स द डायरेक्शन ऑफ व्हाट फ्लेमिंग राइट हैंड रूल गिव्स द डायरेक्शन ऑफ induced current induced current so there are two confusing options current is also there induced current is also there so you have to decide induced current which of the following is the source of direct current dc वैसे ये सिलेबस में नहीं है ac dc बट फिर भी चलो आपको पता ही होगा कि कांस्टेंट वोल्टेज कांस्टेंट करंट कौन देता है कार बैटरी अ सेल और बैटरी ऑलवेज गिव्स अ डायरेक्ट करंट जो पावर हाउस से हमें ac मिलती है वो ठीक है और कार ऑल्टरनेटर बाय द नेम ऑल्टरनेटिंग करंट इट इज प्रोड्यूसिंग ओके क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवन अ रेक्टेंगुलर कॉयल ऑफ कॉपर वायर्स इज रोटेटेड इन अ मैग्नेटिक फील्ड द डायरेक्शन ऑफ इंड्यूस करंट चेंजेस वन सी मीट दिस इज रिगार्डिंग एसी जनरेटर लेट्स लीव इट मैग्नेटिक फील्ड लाइन नियर अ लॉन्ग स्ट्रेट वायर कैरिंग करंट आर वॉट स्ट्रेट लाइन कंसेंट्रिंग कंसेंट्रिक रिंग स्पाइरल लाइन रेडियल लाइन यस जसलीन Some concentric rings. Concentric rings. Yes, we apply Maxwell's right hand thumb rule, and we see they are concentric rings, concentric circles. The the device used for producing current is called a what? Good simmer. Generator. Generator. Galvanometer detects the presence of current. Emitter measures the current. Motor converts electrical to mechanical energy. it's generator that converts mechanical to electrical so it is the producer you can say which of the following is not the source of magnetic field moving charge magnet electric current a small piece of iron rishit ma'am a small piece of iron a small piece of iron iron ka piece aise hi pada hai to usme kya magnetic field hai koi bhi nahi hai theek hai Name the device which converts mechanical energy into electrical energy. Yes, uh, Nishtha. Yes. 
मैम मोटर मोटर ओह नो इट्स रिटर्न ट्रांसफॉर्मर आल्सो आर यू वेयर ऑफ ट्रांसफॉर्मर क्या होता है थोड़ा सा आइडिया तो होना चाहिए ना व्हेन देयर आर सम वर्ड्स रिटर्न यू मस्ट बी एबल टू नो अदरवाइज समटाइम्स व्हाट हैपेंस व्हेन वी डोंट नो एनी डिवाइस हम उसी को टिक कर देते हैं व्हाट्स अ ट्रांसफॉर्मर थोड़ा सा रफ आइडिया यस गुरसिमर डू यू नो सी को एसी में कनेक्ट करता है इट कैन इंक्रीज और डिक्रीज ए सी ए सी करंट या ए सी वोल्टेज को इंक्रीज और डिक्रीज करता है ट्रांसफॉर्मर इट कांट वर्क विद डी सी इट ओनली वर्क विद ए सी द डायरेक्शन ऑफ मैग्नेटिक फील्ड लाइन इन साइड द मैग्नेट यस विशिप मैम साउथ टू नॉर्थ साउथ टू नॉर्थ यस आउट साइड नॉर्थ टू साउथ बिकॉज लूप आर कंप्लीटेड सो दैट्स वाई साउथ टू नॉर्थ यस मैम जो लास्ट क्वेश्चन था इसका आंसर ट्रांसफॉर्मर था नो नो इसका आंसर है मोटर ट्रांसफॉर्मर वी हैव नॉट डन उसका क्वेश्चन नहीं आएगा एंड जस्ट वैसे ही मैं बोल रही थी कि आपको पता होना चाहिए व्हेन सम वर्ड इज रिटर्न तो उसका मीनिंग क्या है सो प्लीज नोट इट डाउन ट्रांसफॉर्मर इज अ डिवाइस दैट कन्वर्ट दैट कैन कन्वर्ट इंक्रीज और डिक्रीज यू कैन से ए वोल्टेज और करंट दैट कैन कन्वर्ट लो ए वोल्टेज इंटू हाई वोल्टेज एंड वाइस मैग्नेटिक फील्ड इज मैक्सिमम एट टू पोल्स एट वन पोल एट द सेंटर ऑफ मैग्नेट और आउटसाइड द मैग्नेट यस हर्षित एट टू पोल्स टू पोल्स व्हेन वी आर हैविंग अ बार मैग्नेट अराउंड द पोल्स नियर द एंड मैग्नेटिक फील्ड इज मैक्सिमम व्हाट इज द पैटर्न ऑफ मैग्नेटिक फील्ड लाइन एट द सेंटर ऑफ करंट कैरिंग सोलिनॉइड pattern of magnetic field lines at the center of current carrying solenoid it's drawn in front of you so they are asking at the center dhruv ma'am straight lines yes these are straight lines parallel to each other what's the role of split rings in an electric motor split rings shantanu reverse the direction of current reverse the direction of current so that the coil keeps on rot rotating in the same direction always so this is a function of split ring commutator arrangement to keep the coil moving in the same direction that is possible when after half rotation the direction of current reverses through both the arms so it reverses the direction of current or you can say it keeps the coil rotating in the same direction also force experienced by current carrying conductor placed in a magnetic field is perpendicular to length magnetic field perpendicular to length magnetic field width hame ye pata hai ki jo force produce hota hai f is equal to bi l perpendicular hota hai but uh, do you have the knowledge it kiske perpendicular hota hai length of conductor width of conductor or to magnetic field or to both length and magnetic field yes it's understanding based question so force experienced by current carrying conductor किसके परपेंडिकुलर होता है यस एनी वन गुरसिमर मैम मे बी लेंथ इट्स परपेंडिकुलर टू मैग्नेटिक फील्ड ये मैग्नेटिक फील्ड के परपेंडिकुलर होता है ये देखिए वी हैव अ करंट कैरिंग कंडक्टर दिस इज द डायरेक्शन ऑफ करंट प्लेस्ड इन अ मैग्नेटिक फील्ड देयर इज सम एंगल बिटवीन देम देन दिस फोर्स गिव्स द डायरेक्शन ऑफ magnetic lorentz force okay so all these three are perpendicular to each other theek hai humne current carrying conductor ko magnetic field mein perpendicular rakha hua hai then maximum force will act on it and this maximum force will also be perpendicular to magnetic field to ye field ke perpendicular hoga right that's why we say f is equal to bil sin 90 which is maximum bil next according to right hand thumb rule the direction of magnetic field in a current carrying straight conductor is denoted by thumb curl fingers middle finger or first finger yes jasleen aap batao curl fingers curl fingers ha curl fingers because when we curl the finger This gives the direction. 
according to right hand thumb rule the direction of magnetic field in a current carrying coil circular coil is denoted by what right hand thumb rule to thumb de raha hai uski direction ki kaun de raha hai right hand thumb rule yes rishit mam curl finger ha ye wahi same question repeat hi ho raha hai who discovered magnetic effect of current who discovered magnetic effect of current or stead hans christian or stead for the first time he gave magnetic effect of current the frequency of direct current is 0 hertz theek hai iski zarurat nahi hai waise aapko but that is 0 hertz okay 